We are going book shopping. This might be the biggest book haul we've ever done on this channel. I have bought a lot of books. I want to say in the past few weeks and the beginning of this video was actually me book shopping. So even more, I actually have to go downstairs and get two more books. So many books. So give me one second to gather all of them and then we're going to start on the book haul. For those of you wondering how the book haul how the book buying ban went well not great it didn't go great i broke it several times she went about 20 days without buying any books which i think is pretty good but then i ended up buying like a lot of books and the good news about a lot of these books is that i went to a library sale and i got like 14 books for 17 dollars so not too shabby honestly my break is i just went up and down the stairs and I have a little bit of an injury on my leg. But we're not gonna talk about that. Let's just let's just get into the book haul. Drink of the day, we're drinking an Alani new peach energy drink. But starting with the book that we just bought in this little we went to like a, three different stores in a Texas town. We went to Barnes, we went to Half Price Outlet. I actually didn't end up getting any books there because the selection wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. And there weren't a lot of books that were just like really screaming my name. So this is what I ended up getting. You guys are still too far. Let's just like, okay, there we go. So at the Fable bookstore, they have this little store in Waco, Texas. I went with a friend yesterday and I essentially just had a whole content day. Starting with Emma by Jane Austen, I have been really collecting a lot of classics. I'm still trying to finish a few, but if you can tell, we're in front of a window, so the lighting is not great. But it's this like light pink edition, and it's just stunning. Then we got a novel, it's like the second store that I did end up buying books at. I ended up getting Local Woman Missing. This one is a thriller, and so far I'm kind of lost on what it's about. But it's probably about a local woman missing. It says, Shelby Tebow is the first to go missing. The Meredith Dickey and her six-year-old daughter, Delilah, vanished just blocks away from where Shelby was last seen, striking fear into their own once peaceful community. After an elusive search that yields more questions than answers, the case eventually goes cold. Now, 11 years later, Delilah shockingly returns. Everyone wants to know what happened to her, but no one is prepared for what they'll find. And some people will never stop 
to nothing to keep a true fairy. So honestly, I just bought the book for myself. That was a lot of information. Let's not talk about that. Then we have my dark Vanessa. This one is a book that has been on my radar for so freaking long. And I finally got it because I, I don't know, I'm really into just literary fiction right now and just like darker books like this. So this one it's about it says 2000 bright and ambitious and yearning for adulthood 15 year old Vanessa Y becomes entangled in an affair with Jacob Strange her magnetic guiltfully guiltful 42 year old English teacher and then it gives you like a timeline after that this one has also been a reader and it's getting really warm here in Texas so I'm starting to gravitate towards more like summery books this one says, For Samantha Gill, a summer of Martha's vineyard at her family's tiny cottage was supposed to be about resurrecting her career as a chef. Until she tasked with chaperoning her half-brother Tyler, the teenage brainiac is spending his summer at the local library in a robotics competition and there is no place for Sam. Who has dyslexia, likes less than the library, and because the universe hates her, the library's interim director turns out to be the hot reader guy whose book she accidentally destroyed on the ferry ride to the island. That sounds... It's given beach read, and I, I need that in my life this summer, so... And spring, so we're reading this. We're gonna move on to other books that I've accumulated. So I got the indie edition from the UK of Manolia Parks. It's just like a stunning cover. I'm gonna get you guys closer. You guys keep coming closer and closer. But this one is so pretty. I It's not the same size as the rest of my books, but I already read this book. I just have this just to literally hug it. And as a prop pretty much just to show you guys. Then a few days ago, I went to a used bookstore, a local one, and I didn't have a great experience there, so I won't be going back there. But I did end up getting two books. This one is Finley Donovan is Killing It. I actually read a big chunk of this book on my Kindle, and now I want to pick it back up. It's like a cozy mystery about this author who's like talking about the plot of her murder mystery book in a Panera bread or something and then someone over here overhears it and thinks that she's actually a killer so that's kind of fun we're gonna be reading that eventually then I got winter in paradise when I told you that I'm kind of gravitating towards trying to find more win summer books I was not lying then I got a really cool Charles Dickens Christmas book this edition is actually stunning. If you can tell, there's like gold on the edges. Beautiful book. Then this one is actually a pretty popular book and I've heard that it was kind of a flop. This one's called All Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. This one was, I wanna say, this is the girl from um, Crime Junkie. I used to listen to that podcast a lot, so. It's a thriller. I have no clue what it's about and we're running out of time, so I better hurry. This one is another thriller, not another thriller, another classic that someone recommended to me a long time ago because I'm into classics now. It's Lady Chatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence. This is more like erotica of her. It's a little like classic spicy book in a sense. And they made a show about it and I'm actually really interested because it's like a really cool like old school edition so i will be reading that one day probably the worst condition book that i got at the library sale was this edition of gone girl by jillian flynn and this is a large print so the print is literally massive but for two dollars you know this was actually just one dollar i got it then we have another classic this is fitzgerald's f cast fitzgerald's tender is the night obsessed with his writing so i'll definitely be getting to this eventually and then we have another copy of The Great Gatsby. This one, if you can see right there, it says this book used to be $125. This is a really, really old edition. I'm obsessed with this. We have two Great Gatsby <coughs> editions. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be reading this one because I want it. This one is more of a collectible. It's really old. Do I have any more books that I didn't show you guys? I don't think so. That was a pretty book haul. Pretty big book haul. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.